Hello, 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 and welcome back to Call Is On It. People, we're going to be doing a spoiler install as well as the badging Mercedes CLK. So, this is what it looks like right now. The exhausts look absolutely beautiful. They are in carbon fiber. The badge is sort of killing the sort of look. Now, if any of you guys have got a CLK that is not AMG, do not go and fit an AMG badge. I promise you, you just make your car look bad. So don't put an AMG badge. You're better off just removing the actual, do a model delete, and that way it will look much cleaner. So, without further ado, let's get on with the install. I'm gonna open the box and see what's in there. Now, we've got a nice carbon fiber look. Spoiler, we're gonna fit right on the back. How nice is that already look? Oh my days, that is so nice, you know. So, so, so nice. Cut it, we need to get bigger spaces in the car so that the wheels come out more. But this looks so nice. So, first things first, we're gonna use a heat gun instead of a Tresemme, a pink Tresemme hairdryer. Kai! <laughs> Good old days. Anyway, we're gonna apply this onto the badge and basically remove it. And that way, the car will be officially be debadged and we'll have a much more cleaner look. So without further ado, let's go. Right, so we're about to apply some double sided tape into the spoiler. Now, one thing to know, it actually came with some 3M tape already. So it's got some 3M tape, but I don't know if that would be enough. That's why I decided to get myself some Gorilla tape. I'll leave the link directly inside the description so we can get some of that. This is some very, very strong tape. It holds like around 5 to 10 kg of weight and it's very very hard to take off you could just see how hard it was for me trying to remove it from my finger anyway without further ado let's go so what you need to do next people is you see these edges you need to peel them up a little bit and I'm going to do a test fit first so I've peeled each edge that way I can fit them on to test it to see if it fits People, look at that. The spoiler has now been installed and look how sturdy it is now. It is not going anywhere. Looking absolutely amazing. So you can see it complements the carbon fiber exhaust tips as well. So you can see there's black, it's carbon fiber and gold. And we've now got a carbon fiber wing as well. There's also going to be a gold theme going on next. So the next thing we're going to do is paint the rear bumper and paint the side skirts and finish off the car. Let's go. So, first off, we're going to be starting with prepping the bumper. At this point, I'm actually cutting the edges so that I can mount the bumper onto the car. The next bit is to sand it all down, get it all nice and smooth. That has took me some time, as you can see that throughout the time lapse. But without further ado, the car is nice and smooth and ready to paint. Next, we're going to start with primer in the car, get it, get the paint prepped. So then that way I can put some base coat on next. So I'm going to get it nice and smooth with that primer. Look at Carl go, don't go anywhere. Now we're jumping onto the base coat now. So this is the actual body color of the car. And I've got a perfect color match for this one. And oh my days, it's starting to look amazing right now. Also, the next thing what I want to do, I want to perfect the rear diffuser. So I was doing some filler into it and making sure that each edge is nice and smooth so it looks perfect by the time it comes into paint. So here we go. Now 
Next up, we're now finally onto mounting it so it's all nicely painted and ready to mount. So now I'm putting on the attachment so that way it's securely locked on. Next, we are about to fit on the rear bumper with the diffuser. People, honestly, uh, painting is not as easy as I'm making it look right now. I did so many attempts to try and get it to look nice. Oh my days, it is actually difficult and it's much more difficult with a spray can as well. So, if you're not patient, I won't recommend it. Anyway, please. people the results of the paint came out amazing perfect color match honestly it took so many different attempts of painting all the bumpers the rear bumper the front bumper oh my life people it was difficult it was only God that helped me through this I'm not even joking you I only thank God that gave me the grace and wisdom to do it so let's get on to the next part So people, we're now going to start on the fog lights. As you can see, I've already started drilling. So, I've got a 75mm drill. Drill bit. I'm going to drill into there so then we'll have some fog lights with it. Let's go. Now, finally, we drilled the hole. And now it's all done. All I need to do is just push like this and it drops right out and we have ourselves a perfect circle so now we can fit fog lights in but we'll do that in another video let's go so people we're about to need to repair this bit and then i need to repair well i'm not going to repair but i need to fill these areas and I'm Strengthen the front bumper a bit more. I strengthen it a bit, but it's not enough. So I need to strengthen this more so that this is tougher, especially on this top layer bit here, anyway. So let's get on with it. that the front bumper is now shiny after applying some clear lacquer that 2k gloss which makes it look absolutely beautiful people we're so close to the finish line we are so so close so let's keep it going now we're on the final bit which is to cut out a nice piece of mesh to protect the intercooler and also the side vents too let's get cutting
people oh my days the body kit has now been painted and it has also been installed oh my days it took a lot of work a lot of adaptations a lot of cutting ins as you've been seeing a lot of mistakes have been made but people is now officially done the reason this video took so long to upload is because i have been doing my business on the side and i've been working on customers cars and i have to say on it autos limited is now open to the public let's go People, the Mercedes has officially been painted. Oh my days. This video yeah, was actually done. I actually painted this months ago. It's only now that I'm just basically getting a chance to post all these videos. So much has been going on. So much has happened to the car as well. So, people. Next plan is to fit on the side skirts as well. So the bigger extension side skirts and also fit on bigger spaces on the rear and a tiny bit bigger on the front as well so I can get it looking perfect then we're gonna put on the trims that are meant to be here like these chrome trims wrap them around change the front row change the badge as well um, and also go into the interior as well there's also another video I've done on the interior too so I have to show you on that one and also change a few things on the back too and the plates are going on as well so people if you like the video hit that like and subscribe stay tuned stay on it and don't go anywhere peace